Hello everyone, this is Doom1 here, and today I'm going to show you how you can track hours easily if you own Doom 2 on Steam. But the issue is most people nowadays play Doom 2, even if they own it on Steam, they play it through a source port, like GZ Doom, for example. So I'm going to show you how to do that, but before we get into that, I want to give a huge shout out to Brad Slicer Man 666 for making this guide, uh, for making the text version. I'll link it in the description if you're into text instead of some fucking 15 year old talking. That's completely fine. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, favorite, favorite is guide. Give it a thumbs up if you can. You'd definitely appreciate it. So yeah, let's get on right into it. So first of all, we're going to go to our library. And as you can see, here's Doom 2. <laughs> Classic video game. So we're going to go to our left where all of our games are grouped together and all that we're gonna get Doom 2 okay you see Doom 2 we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to manage and browse local files and here we are however there's another way to do it which is more complicated like come on this the method I just did requires fewer clicks so we're gonna go to Doom 2 Hell on Earth right click properties local files browse local files and there we go. So, here's how Doom 2 on Steam works. There is now two versions of Doom 2 on Steam by default. Obviously, we're going to modify it. So, as you can see, there is the re-release, which is made by Bethesda. It was made in the Unity engine, if you didn't know that. And it would have the Bethesda logo if you boot this up. Which is the first option uh, on Doom 2 Hell on Earth. There's three options. Doom 2 Hell on Earth is the Unity version. The DOS version is the DOSBox version. And DOS version Classic Controls is launching that bat file that just uses Classic Controls. And that's about it. So, we're just going to cancel for now because we don't need to worry about that yet. So, we're going to go to the base folder, which is where DOSBox is at. And we're going to go ahead and show desktop. We're going to go to view and uh, show my desktop icons. We're going to go ahead and go to our source port of choice. In this case, mine is GZ Doom. Uh, Brad Slicer Man recommends Z Doom, which is the older brother of GZ Doom. However, GZ Doom gets updates as Z Doom got recently discontinued, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I might be wrong, though. Correct me in the comments. So, all we have to do is just drag. Every single file you have in GZ Doom, uh, Control A, Control C, and Control V to the base folder. Uh, so if you have your WAD file, uh, you can replace it if you want. Obviously, you can skip it, but I'm just gonna replace it anyways. So yeah, now we got all this shit. So now what do we need to do next? Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, don't don't rush yourself to launch the DOS version right now because it won't work. Why? Because we gotta trick the game. We gotta trick uh, the bat file to launch uh, a EXE program called DOSBox. So we're gonna go ahead and rename DOSBox to whatever you want, or you can just delete it if you really don't want to use it. I'm just gonna rename it to DOSBox uh, Backup, and we're gonna name your source ports .exe file to uh, DOS box. I I don't know why it changes the icon, but that's what it does, I guess. And yeah, that's about it. If you want to play vanilla GZ Doom, so we're gonna hit play, launch DOS version, uh, play game, and here we are. We're gonna be we're on Hell on Earth, Ultra Violence. We're gonna I don't. We're just gonna type in give all, cause why not? So we're just gonna go ahead and use our shotgun. And yeah, this is vanilla working in its former glory. Very nice. And we're gonna go back to Doom 2. Uh, we're gonna go back to Doom 2's uh, Steam folder. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back a folder, and we're gonna customize Doom 2 plus mouse dot bat. I'm pretty sure this will work just fine with Doom 2 dot bat, but 
The Doom 2 Plus Mouse Bat is the second option via Steam. The third one is, of course, Doom2.bat. So, here's what we want to customize here. We're going to go ahead and uh, get to have a notepad saved. We're going to go ahead and take this line, link in the description. So, I want to launch Project Brutality, or, and I want to launch a random ass map wand. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, we're going to go to base. And let's see what map what I have. Uh, okay, so let's do this one. So we're going to hit copy and we're going to paste this. And I'm going to keep Project Brutality. However, if you have a PK3 uh, weapon pack mod, all you have to do is uh, like Brutal V21, which is the original Brutal Doom. You can go ahead and highlight the entire thing, including the file extension. Obviously, I would recommend turning on file extensions. I believe you have to go to File Explorer, go to View. There you go. Yeah, just go to View and enable file name extensions. So, yeah. So, Brutal Doom, you know, what if you want to replace Brutal Doom for some reason? Yeah, just copy the entire file name, including the file extension, and just go ahead and override Project Brutality and all that. So, however, I want to play Project Brutality. So, we're going to go ahead and copy this line and we're going to replace uh, we're going to replace it with this first line in the bat file. And we're going to hit Control S, which is save. We're going to exit out. Obviously, use your own notepad program of choice. I don't really care. And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and exit out, and it should work in theory. Launch DOS version. Play game. Project Brutality 3.0. That means it's working. And if we go to the cmd.exe, oh. If we go to cmd.exe, as you can see, it says program files, x86 maps, common doom 2, base, docs, box, and it'll show, you know, that. So anyways... Hit new game, brutal, yes. And as you can see, my custom level. Uh, ah, Chainsaw, the, the great communicator. communicator.